Chapter 12, Deflection of Beams and Shafts, Part B, Moment Area Theorem, Example 2. So let's uh, calculate the maximum deflection uh, of a cantilever beam handling a uniformly distributed load of W. Uh, and so that's a delta at the free end and also theta at B. So we can uh, have the deflection and an uh, theta with different approach. Let's start with the equation of, of elastic care from the moment, first of all. So we can easily calculate this moment by the uh, equilibrium equation and making a moment about, uh, about uh, A, for example. Mm -hmm. So, if we calculate MA for a cantilever beam uniformly distributed load, that's a equal to W L squared over 2, and RA should cancel out the total load, which is W, and there is no other, other forces to cancel out that, so that's RA goes by, goes by the a whole uh, amount of load, and MA is... WL squared over 2. And if you cut the beam in a section by the length of x, and then there is a moment there, and that's mx. If you develop the equation for that moment, mm -hmm, that's a solution one, a calculation of a deflection or elastic curve based on moment equation. That's why we, uh, we cut the cross section. Uh, by a, a length of a, a somehow less than the entire length of the beam, like x, and then develop the equation for moment and, and solve our problem. So in that case, we do know m a it just replaced from the top. That's m a w l squared over to r a replaced from the top. Mm -hmm. The reaction and and moment at the peaks and doesn't change, but the there is a Effect of uh, m x there. So let's let's develop the summation of moment about x goes zero about the point x goes zero. It just gives m x by this equation. If you rearrange this, it just gives you m x is is a negative w uh, x squared over two plus w l x minus w l squared over two. So that's the equation of of moment. Then. As soon as we know what the equation of moment is by by integrating the by once integrating it we get the slope or theta by the set by uh, another integration we can get the uh, elastic curve and 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 the maximum maximum deflection of beam is easily calculated so as soon as we have the moment of moment equation by first integrating of that we can get the a slope or theta equation and and by one more equation so by more integration so that's a first integ first integration and that's a second integration from moment by two integration we can get to delta and and by each integration a new constant of integration it just develops so it just says we do have C1 for the first integration, and we have C1 and C2 for the second one. So let's apply the boundary condition. So uh, at x equal to 0, a theta is 0 and delta. So at the beginning, because it's a fixed end moment at A, there is no delta, there is no uh, a flip-flop, there is no uh, movement for because of fixed end and there is no also there's no rotation so theta is equal to zero and and if you replace that in the equation for theta and delta it just gives you both of the constant go zero c1 and c2 and and then you can just get the equation of delta or y by if c1 and c2 go zero you can just have the equation without c1 and c2 and now calculating uh, theta and delta at x equal to l. So if you put the, if you calculate theta for the free end, it just gives you 
a numeric value of a negative w l cubed over 6 mm -hmm. and also delta for for free end of b which is the goes by the whole length of the beam that goes by a, this equation and that's a negative w l to the force over 8 e i mm -hmm. so again theta is a w l cubed over 6 e i and delta is a w l to the force over 8 e i and negative it just says it's a down bar for delta and and for the theta it just says it just goes the uh, uh, other way than your or initial direction mm -hmm. we can get the same amount of of theta and delta with an easier approach which is a a moment area uh, method let's let's see how that works so if you want to solve the same problem with the moment area method so uh, or theorem it just says if you consider the deviation of tangential deviation of b with respect to a so that says delta maximum is equal to deviation of b uh -huh. it just has this much deviation from from a reference of a so that's t b with respect to a and that's nothing but based on based on moment area uh, second moment area theorem that's a m over ei from a to b area under moment uh, over ei from a to b time x bar and x is is calculated from where from 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 the first point so from the from the free end so x bar is centroid of the moment so first of all if you draw the shear it just comes by if you have r a here for example let's have it so r a is equal to again w l by and in, in shear diagram you just come uh, upward by the amount of r reaction at a and a uniformly distributed load it just decreases the shear diagram until it reaches two to zero at b because there is no reaction at b so it just goes by zero shear and and if you draw the um, m over ei mm -hmm, and the centroid mm -hmm, so if you pay attention to shear diagram mm -hmm. so if let me make, make it a bit clean here so it just says t tangential deviation of b with respect to a is area under m over ei area over m over ei from from a to b from a to b times x or x bar which is a a centroid to 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 b so if this is a constant uniformly distributed load i call it zero degree this is a linear shear is linear i call it one degree and this is a spandrel parabolic spandrel that's a second degree hey, just remember as you move from 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 low to to shear shear to moment it just goes by one degree higher because you are integrating the area under that so that's a second degree and if you remember for second degree area is one third of bh and centroid is one over n plus two from the base so that's one over two plus two which is one over four l a quarter of l is to the base so our x is a three quarter of l so as soon as i know what my x is i can simply uh, can multiply the area under under my uh, uh, m over ei don't forget m divided by ei so 
uh, if it's parametric just put ei and if it's numeric value just replace that bit because area under m over ei is is going to be a t b with respect to a so that's the the area is one third of bh mm -hmm. and that's a let's make it a bit a cleaner so in that sense it just says this is a second degree this is a second degree and x from the centroid to b is a three quarter of l so t b with respect to a is a one third of one third this area this is one third of of a w l squared over two ei times two third of l mm -hmm. So that's a a one third of how that goes. That's a the that's m over e i w l squared over two e i. It just comes from here. Area under shear, which is a half of w l times l it is w l squared over. So that's a half of w l squared uh, over two e a. Uh -huh. So that's a one third of area of this a second degree uh, parabolic spandrel is one third of W L squared over two E A uh -huh. times a four a a four third of L. So that's four quarters of L. Uh -huh. So you can easily cancel a these three with this one, and that just goes by w l to the force over 8 e i w a to the force a over 8 e i so if you remember this is the same uh, parametric value which we calculate from the uh, elastic curve from moment and and for the other part is just it just says if you want to know what the theta at b is what is the angle at b you just simply need to know the uh, just calculation of the area. So theta b is is theta uh, b with respect to a minus theta a because this is fixed and theta a is goes to zero. So theta b is equal to area under under m over e i, and that's just a one third of w l squared over two e a times the length, and that's w l cubed over 6 e i if you remember we did calculate the same parametric value with the previous method yet we can solve it with a third approach which is a castigliano's theory which is a, a italian mathematician and and it even made it a more simpler so what that says it it, it just says if you want to calculate delta here mm -hmm, delta at b mm -hmm, you just simply make a cross section from the free end by the length of x mm -hmm, and develop the moment equation and at the same time apply a a virtual qb at a b then develop the moment mm -hmm, then remove the see the effect of qb because you want to see the uh, vertical movement of b del that's delta max and then then put qb equal to zero because there, we didn't have any qb in our b so how that goes let's uh, develop this uh, x um, uh, summation of moment about point x goes zero it just gives you the uh, moment equation that's a negative mx based on our positive uh, direction of counterclockwise is positive so mx goes by a negative minus qb times x that's a, a, a another clockwise that's a negative qb times distance mm -hmm. and and a negative 1 over 2 wx squared goes zero so that's a conversion of distributed load to concentrated load applied at the center and that also creates a negative moment so if you rearrange the equation 
for for uh, developing the mx equation it just gives you a negative q b times x minus a half of w x squared and and just a castiglianus theory just says a delta at b is a partial derivation of energy over partial derivation of q b and if you look at the moment equation partial m over partial q b it just goes by a negative x mm -hmm. and and if you uh, just look at the equation of Castiglianus, yb is partial derivation of energy over partial a uh, derivation of qb it's a integration from 0 to l m over ei a partial m over partial qb dx mm -hmm. if you replace the term we have mx we have partial m over partial qb which is a negative x and if you replace them in the equation it just simply says yb is equal to 1 over ei take the ei uh, before integration uh -huh. and again integration from 0 to L replace M by the equation of moment from here mm -hmm. so we are just replacing M over EI we take EI out and replacing M by the equation that's all and put QB equal to 0 because there was no Q at the beginning and and then just a, a partial derivation of M over partial derivation of Q which goes by a negative x based on moment equations so if you just do this integration it just gives you a w l to the 4 over 8 ei is it this is the same a uh, parametric value which we calculate from uh, two previous methods so uh, likewise if you want to see what is a theta at b this time instead of a, a qb for theta go goes with the appropriate uh, nature of force that's a theta goes by a moment delta goes by a vertical uh, force so how that goes this time instead of do the same a uh, cross section by x develop the moment uh, at x and and uh, this time a put a, a concentrated moment at B to calculate theta at B and then again after your see the effect of uh, the equation put the numeric value of MB equal to zero because we didn't have any moment applied on our original beam at the top so how that goes it just says this time a theta B is a partial derivation of energy over partial mb mm -hmm. and and that says a that's a partial over partial mb that's integration from 0 to l m squared over 2 ei that's just the equation of castigliano uh -huh. and that's a integration from 0 to l m over ei a partial m partial mb dx and if you replace the develop the m equation this time it just gives you mx is equal to minus mb minus a negative mb minus a negative w a half of w x squared mm -hmm. and definitely a partial m over partial mb you can easily see that's a negative one that just comes from a here that's just a negative one comes there so theta b is simply calculated by replacing the uh, calculation in the main equation so it's it's not uh, harder it's uh, far simpler but you just need to go with the uh, a correct uh, uh, directions and calculation so again for this integration we just take ei we just take ei out of integration so that's our ei 1 over ei then integration from 0 to L M is just replaced by the equation of M which is a M X is a negative M B minus a half of W X2 a negative W X2 and and at the same time as soon as you want to replace in main equation because we didn't have any M B just put that equal to 0 mm -hmm. when, when you're replacing in the equation it just goes by the real part mm -hmm. for for partial derivation we just need that but for the real part 
for for the calculation part we just go by the real number so it just gives you a negative half of a half of uh, w x squared times a minus one dx and if you do so it just gives you a w times l cubed a over six ei which is a and that again the positive or negative it just says are they consistent with the direction of your moment or not so the parametric value is exactly the same for theta at at both uh, previous methods that's a comprehensive example for a cantilever beam thank you will will uh, solve more problems in in uh, uh, next videos thank you